Bonjour! Bonjour! Um, as we said, we made a huge deal about the Paris party. Big deal. Huge deal. <laughs> Not that we dressed up for the occasion. Not that we practiced French the night before. Or planned for weeks on end. Made berets to wear on our heads. Made berets to wear on our heads. Took pictures. <laughs> Everything. Whole nine <laughs> yards. Because we were so excited. Thrilled. About the, what are they called? From Paris with Love From since. Paris with Love. Um, they were inspired by good old... Belly! Paris some more! And, of, of course, Paris. Um, so I feel it makes sense to start with the classic... Paris some more. Paris some more. Um, <clears throat> Paris some more is a very flirty scent. I feel like whenever I, um, I smell it, it smells... Um, not citrusy, of course. <laughs> I have a lot of, I feel like a lot of Bath and Body Works scents are very citrusy. I smell sweet flowers. What did it say on the advertisement? A pop of pink champagne and tulips. And apple. And apple, exactly. But yes, it's, it's a nice combination of different scents. It's a mixture of things. And it's very, and it's very sweet and it's, it's not, it's light. Mm -hmm. And so it's like light enough that you can wear it every day exactly. and it's not going to overpower everything. And it's buildable. So if you would like to wear it at night, then you can just go off of what you've been wearing earlier that right. day and just go ahead and spritz all over and then you're good to go. And I, yeah, it's very, very nice. And it, I like it. Comes in a little, it comes in everything because this mm -hmm. is one of the like this is one of the true signature scents yeah. at this point and I believe it's one of their top five. Mm -hmm. it yeah, is. it's one of their top five most mm -hmm. popular up mm -hmm. there with Twilight Woods, which is also great. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, let's pair some more. Pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else you'd like to say um, about that or about no, any of this? But the products we'll be speaking on next, once again, are be going to be based off of pair some more. We. Oui. Mm. So let us move on. All right, which one shall we do next? Paris Nights. It's closer. All right, Paris Nights it is. Um, this it's one, good. You can see I've used it. <laughs> this is more so her favorite than mine. I bought it because I'm not much of a uh, dark, sexy scent. And I um, know. As much as she is. Like, I want to be. I love because I love the, the, the way that they make me feel. Um, and if I were to choose one, it would be this one. But still, it's not exactly my favorite. What do you smell, Jamie? Um, it's definitely dark, and I have to refresh on it. It's it's a night it's a night scent. I mean, as the name implies, it's called Paris Nights, and that's a bug. Um, when I smell it, let me see. It's really hard to pick out one one scent. Say it with jasmine. Yeah, definitely, jasmine. Oh, hey, seductive blend of French jasmine. Oh, um, Clementine and Cabernet Musk. I can see how this. I can see how the City of Lights definitely mm -hmm. um, inspired this scent because oh, yeah. it's in the end, and that's why honestly I haven't. It, it is my favorite of the three of the three new ones, but I honestly, and not that you can tell by looking at it, I honestly haven't worn it that much because I really haven't had the occasion to wear it because it seems. It seems a little bit too much for every day. Yeah, I did that once. I wore it to some kind of daytime event just recently, and I hugged someone, and they told me I smelled good, um, but then someone else I knew who was not afraid to be very honest with me, uh, I hugged them, and they said that it's not that it didn't smell good. It was just very um, strong, very potent for a daytime scent. So... <clears throat> So take that one with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. It's definitely good for it's like good. nighttime. And yeah. it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. All right, next we will do my favorite. Kaylee's favorite. It's Sweet on Paris. This Yay. one is awesome. Love it. And it is perfect for everyday use. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, Kaylee, take it away. I love this particular scent because I personally do not favor smelling like food. Um, I always say I don't want to chew my arm off in the middle of the day because I'm so overwhelmed with hunger from smelling all the sugar. But this scent particularly is a very sugary sweet, but not the sugary like food. I mean, I, obviously it's like inspired by little food. It's got little cupcakes and all kinds of funny little sweet treats on here. But I think it's the perfect kind of sweet without being too 
reminiscent of food. Um, it's really nice to wear during the day. Uh, like she said, it was very, very light, and some of the uh, top notes are, of course, blackberry and lemon meringue, which still, again, is food, but I think that's what I love about it because it's inspired by food, but it doesn't smell like food. It really doesn't smell like food It doesn't smell like food at all. Really, it, it, it's very the, sweet. The thing that you Sugary. will smell about it is you smell the sweetness. In the fact, sugar. a good friend of mine, when he smelled it, first thing he said, oh, that smells sweet. He didn't even read mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. And then after that, he felt really dumb because it's pretty obvious yep. that it would have been sweet. But it really is nice. And it, it's got, you know, Kaylee said earlier that she's not big on citrus. Um, it's a little bit citrusy, but had bit, but not, mm -hmm. you know, that's not what you're going to take away from it. You're yeah. going to take away, it's sharp, but it's sharp in like a sweet berry kind of mm -hmm. way. It's really nice. And it grew on like me a Like really a really flavorful lot. berry. Yep. It grew on yep. me a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. All right. And the last of the new Paris scents is Paris and Bloom. And I actually, this is all I have of this one. And I don't know anything about it. <laughs> um, so. This one, I guess, for the both of us is not exactly um, a favorite. I'm not sure why. I don't think it sticks out for the both of us. Does it? It doesn't just really. It's a little bit florally for my taste. Yeah, a little too flowery and florally. Um, like, to me, when I think, whenever I smell this, I feel like, it's like whenever you walk into a, a greenery or a garden of some sort or a greenhouse you smell like the scent of flowers, but you're also overpowered by the scent of fertilizer and pesticides. That's what I'm reminded of. It does not say that this smells like crap. No, it does not <laughs> smell like crap at all. It... Okay, that smelled like alcohol. <laughs> it smells like floor shop roses. Yes, very, very strong. It's like sharp. I don't know. It smells a lot like, like I mean, I don't, and this, this particular, um, thing doesn't have a description on it so mm -hmm. it can't can't, can't tell relate you to you that but um this was actually one of the the sp like special edition limited edition um containers for it it's just a glitter body spray and it's really nice and glittery yeah, yeah it's very glittery um the scent though doesn't doesn't rock my socks off it nope. does it smells like if you go into your local grocery store or Walmart or whatever and you walk up to the roses and smell them. That's what you're going to smell. That's this. And, yep. you know, I like the way roses smell on roses, but I don't really want to smell like supermarket roses. Um, the girl that we went with to the Paris party, Heather, this one was her favorite. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, different strokes for different folks. Um, True. It's definitely not bad. Not bad. It's just not my None favorite. None of these scents are bad. It's... <clears throat> Also at Paris Party, and this is not a Paris scent, we have um, Love, 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 which we both love, love, love. love, love, love. <laughs> so it was almost as exciting to go um, to get the Paris scents as it was just to pick up some actual full-size versions yes. of Love, 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 which is lovely. And because of all the other scents that we got at the same time, I haven't even used this one yet. I did. Except in the lotion. <laughs> I got some shower gel and some spray. I did, yeah, and I did get lotion too. I got it in the sample size though, not the full size. But either way, I've been using this product. So I like, oh, it smells so good. And whenever we first picked this up and started smelling at things, we always give like our first impression of what it reminds us of. So we don't want to ruin it for you if you do not like this confectionery treat that we're about to tell you it smells like. But when we first smelled it, she said it smells like a sweet tart. And... Which it, I love sweet tarts, so I mean that was great for me. Yeah, and it, and it kind of does. I'll give her that. But, but that, really, when you get it on and like you lather up in the shower, and then you <laughs> lather on the lotion, and then you spray, it doesn't like it doesn't kind of. I don't know. It we, doesn't. It doesn't la like sweet tart doesn't last. There are other scents that that seem to to overpower and really make that scent sort of take a back seat. Like Somebody it. told us, and I don't know whether it was you that said it or whether it was the lady at Bath and Body Works that said it, that said it smells like gummy bears. Yes. That's a really I'm, good... I was there. It's a really good... That's a lady, yeah. It's a candy kind of smell. Yes, it's very candy -ish. But it's nice. And it is nice enough that you can wear a lot of it any time of day. And see, and now that we're talking about food and candy and sweetness, candy is sweet, but this is more of like a very potent candy smell, whereas this is just sugary. This yes. is, because you can go, well, what? They're both like food. No. This is more of a sweet tart type.
type of candy, whereas this is just primarily like sugary. It doesn't have exactly. a particular. It's not like you smell that. You don't smell the Paris scent, yeah. sweet on Paris, and yeah. think, oh, candy. You no. just think, oh, sugar. Uh-huh. This, this one you're thinking candy. Candy, candy sweetness. Um, mm-hmm. But fantastic. Really good. Like, I wouldn't really have thought nice. that I would like that, but. And honestly, really nice. like, this has kind of been a little bit of a revolution in my scent taste from Bath and Body Works because as she said earlier primarily like my things that I liked were the darker sexy ones you know the sensual amber the twilight woods the black yep. amethyst those kind of things and I really kept away from the florals and the the, the romantics or whatever uh-huh. their little scent group is and this one I didn't think I'd like it at all but you know of course there's a new scent so you're gonna go find out whether out. you like it or not exactly I loved it in fact I bought one of the like travel size lotions and um, had it about halfway finished before the Paris party. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not a big lotion person at yeah. all. Yeah. So and she's not, which was really amazing for me because we yeah. confess to each other. I'm too much of a lotion person. She's too much of a spray person. So we told yeah. ourselves we have to switch. Yeah. Switch it up. And she used up half of her lotion. Before we went to the Paris party, and now since I've gotten all my products from the Paris party, I've like used up quarters to halves of all of my sprays. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Never too late for change. Awesome stuff. All right. Um, that sums up what my stock of the Paris party, her stock, is at Whole her house. Different world. <laughs> Whole different world. Whole different world. Whole different world. Next video, in case you haven't heard, Bath and Body Works is releasing a new scent, and I want to say it's early October or middle October. And it's called Cashmere Glow, and I actually have the little sample size thing of the lotion that I got from the offer for free. Um, I didn't get it because I didn't get to go down there, and she won't let me smell it off camera. No, I'm making her wait. <laughs> so next video, Cashmere Glow time. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can do it. Okay. Okay. Later.